Uh, overall, though, Kate Shiva, it's been a good day. It's a little sad listening to the uh, flight director say that we're going to have to stop at 10 seconds. But uh, I guess that's for everybody. It gives us a real run through of the launch vehicle. Yeah, uh, it's unfortunate. Of course, we wanted to <laughs> see fire today <laughs> and lift off. Um, but that's okay. The point of the countdown is to allow the teams uh, to progress to that T-zero time in a coordinated fashion and really to um, unveil any issues prior to the ignition sequence. So um, the countdown did its job today. Uh, it allowed us to identify that press issue. And uh, like John mentioned, the teams are going to, to work through it. And we are going to uh, hold, uh, basically call it off at T-minus 10 seconds. But the integrated launch teams and us, we are going to treat this as if it were still a launch day we're going to do this what we now call a wet dress rehearsal yeah and we we've mentioned the term a couple of times here we call it a wet dress rehearsal because we are wetting the propellant tanks we are loading propellant into the vehicle we've talked about the frost line a little bit here that exercises the stage zero system uh the ground system all of our infrastructure that loads propellants onto the pad that exercises our um procedures for the mission control teams we're monitoring telemetry on the mission control consoles, looking at the pressures and the rates and the temperatures. And some of those things look a little bit different when you're getting up to the pre-flight uh, pressurization levels and full propellant load. So we're learning things today about the integrated tasks that are gonna set us up for success in a future attempt later on, uh, hopefully in the next uh, 48 hours or so. And, and Kate, like it's it's also worth mentioning here, we're still going to take the count through to uh, a pretty uh, around the T minus 10 second mark. So we're really going to exercise everything that we would up until that point in, in the vehicle states and ground procedures. Yeah, it's like we said before, um, any data that we can collect today is super helpful. And that's exactly what we're doing. We are continuing to collect this data and allow the teams to have uh, be better informed for the next attempt. Um, unfortunately, due to the uh, needing to recycle the propellant, we are looking at a minimum of 48 hours uh, until we are able to uh, attempt this flight test again. Um, so we'll, we're not quite sure what that timing will be at the moment, but we're looking at a minimum of 48 minutes or excuse me, a 48 hours at this point in time. But Shiva, exactly as you said, things look a little bit different on launch day. And um, we allowed the countdown to do its job, to basically get to this point, uh, to allow the teams to work through the issues. And uh, we're going to continue, like we said before, we're going to continue all of this down all the way to T minus 10 seconds. Um, and that will really allow the teams to pretend like this is launch day and um, continue and gather that data. Yeah, okay, that's... On the one hand, uh, it's a little bittersweet. On the other hand, we watched them go all the way through first stage propellant load, just now wrapping up the second stage, even the header tanks up under the nose of the Starship that you can see on the uh, monitors. Uh, actually, that all went very well today. Uh, the weather was excellent. Uh, everything was looking good. Sadly, we just have the one issue, uh, but that is letting the team continue to count down and we're going to continue with it here until uh, we get the clock hold at T-minus 10 seconds. Yeah, so for those of you um, that have just joined us, we're now at T-minus 1 minute and 30 seconds to what would have been the launch of our Starship flight test, but unfortunately due to a stage one issue, we are going to uh, utilize today as a wet dress rehearsal. Uh, instead, we are not going to attempt launch. Um, the teams are... Uh, basically saying that we're, we're scrubbing our launch attempt for today, and we are expecting a minimum of 48 hours in order to recycle. Um, so it's all good news, though. <laughs> There's nope. nothing really to be sad about other than we had hoped to be able to lift off today, but um, that's okay. Now, one thing to point out for folks, when we do come back, uh, when we uh, clear this and we fly, one of the things you'll hear in the last minute, you won't be hearing us because we'll be listening to the countdown. But at T-minus 30 seconds, that's when the flight director would give the final go for launch. I'd uh, love to have heard that this morning, but uh, <laughs> something to look forward to. Absolutely. The other thing to look at is at T-minus 6 seconds, we begin lighting the engines. Up on your monitor, you can see there, T-minus 40 seconds. We did hit the 40-second hold point, and they are holding for a moment. In the end, they will release that hold. We'll go to the last 30 seconds. 
But yes, when we do get to day of launch, the last thing to look at is in the last six seconds, light the Raptor engines in succession. So unlike Falcon 9, we're gonna have to do that a little longer. We're hearing right now the clock is going to hold here at T minus 40 seconds. Uh, Fal the uh, Super Heavy and Starship are looking good. So with that, Kate, uh, it's been a fast-paced morning. <laughs> Jimbo, you know, we got through it fairly quickly. But uh, at this point, we're going to have to call it a morning. Yeah, that's right. So for those of you that have recently just joined us, we unfortunately had a hold on the countdown today. Uh, and that is going to scrub our launch attempts. But uh, we are expecting a minimum of 48 hours in order to recycle. So be sure to keep an eye on our social channels and we'll share information as soon as it becomes available. Until then, stay safe and we'll see you soon.